Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Sir, and you're watching The Daily with Casper. Anyways, guys, welcome back um, to another Daily with your boy Caspi. Um, it's been a crazy weekend. Um, I mean, it started Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday just got crazier and crazier. But anyways, um, let's get into it. We'll get into Thursday. Here's a quick uh, 143 recap. And then, uh, yeah, just keep watching. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Hey, so what's up, guys? Welcome back to the deal with your boy Caspi. And I'm with my boy Majay. And uh, <laughs> anyways, um, I'll show you a quick snippet of what I did yesterday for Marky Basie and her. Um, if we bump into each other on a crowded street, it's not us no more. It's just you and me. We're just strangers in passing casually. It's not us no more. It's just you and me. Anyways, welcome back, and so today I met up with Dimaje, that shit was tight, um, unplanned, now, now we're, we're at his recording studio. Boom, it's where the magic happens, we're not so, talking about sex. Just listen to some of his music um, on the car ride here, and I love it, I mean, you're probably listening to it right now as it's playing. Just pull this book out, and put it together. Anyways, I fucked with it, I'm definitely looking forward to working with you more. Thanks, dude. That would be I'm, dope as fuck. Dude, seriously, I'm, I'm hell of excited for that, that's like... Yeah. When I meet people and shit, I mean, you're you're good company. Bro. Nah, you too, bro. You too. He, this this guy is fucking tight. We fucking met at the um, what the fucking we just went to the Daniel Caesar. Yeah, the Daniel Caesar. Uh, to, um, we got to see his show. I shot some shots of him real up close. You guys will probably see that. But um, great. so we got to see a free live concert for him. Well, you had to pay for the vinyl, huh? I had to pay for the vinyl. Yeah. yeah. All right, you got to. Yeah, I got to you do it. For, got I, to. I got to watch it for free. He got to watch it for free. I got, I, I, I know good people. <laughs> yeah, he knows good people, and I just met him, so now I know good people. So, we know good people. But yeah, I literally went there by myself and just, like, harassed everybody in the store and everybody in line. You know, I mean, every time he went ham on a song, you already, he already saw me. I was like, hey, he's on it. I was like, he's killing that shit. And it wasn't even, like, it wasn't even slow music that Daniel was playing, or that was playing during the Daniel shit. It was, like, Hood shit, like fucking Drake. <laughs> and, yeah. He was playing some hype music, and I was just like, "How? How is it that only we were the two dancing? And like no one else is." Like, everybody else was. His homies were like doing their own little thing, but everybody else was being weird and like just standing there. But I think that's because everybody was fucking nervous or something like that. Yeah, but I'm just like, fuck that. You gotta like. Yeah. Move I mean, I wouldn't have met this guy if I was way too nervous. Wouldn't have met him. Honestly, yeah. when I was dancing, I was like, like, "This is gonna be my way to talk to this dude." I just can't go up to him and be like. This is not planned. I'm literally just saying this. Now I'm just like, yeah, where's my game plan? I'm coming through. Right, bam, right, yeah, I mean, you. Uh, that's how start. I am sometimes. Like, I see, like, well, for me, like, if it's, if I didn't have my camera, I just see who's kind of feeling the vibe and like, hey, hey. hey swag. You got to schmooze your way in to talk But, to um, you. usually for photos, I just like, yo, do you need a photo? Um, like, you know, I'm shooting for the event. Then I get their Instagrams, and then from there we kind of create a relationship. Yeah, so exactly. That's it's, why I'm lucky. That it's, way. Yeah, it's really not that hard. It's hard, but it's not because then it's like you don't know how people are. So then it's like you kind of have to like, you know, take a chance yeah. in terms of how you approach. So stuff. yeah, we went to the Daniel Caesar event. Um, I she met some awesome, awesome people such as Demage. Yeah. Um, definitely check his music out. I'll probably add his link in the what is the it? description the description below. I've never done this before. Or to the uh-huh. side. But yeah, um, definitely see what we did together today. Um, I mean, we're right now in his recording studio. You see this. I mean, this is the background. I mean, I'm not going to do no B-roll today, but we'll do it another day. Yeah, and I'm not making shit tonight either. I'm going to go to fuck so, sleep. Cause I gotta yeah, work I bet you're tired too. Uh, um, my feet hurt. I just want some Jack in the Box. Oh, I want some tacos so bad. And they're only 129 and I'm broke. Like, it's the perfect... It's the perfect thing. You know what's up, whoever you are. But anyways, um, thanks for having me, man. Dude, thanks I'm definitely for looking me, forward to working tight. with you, bro. For sure. Like, for real. I'm excited. This shit was tight. I've never done a vlog before. 
It's, it's fun. Like, it's kind of like a mini, like, interview. Like, I guess sometimes, or, like, you can be casual, depending on how much time I have. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's just kind of cool. Like, you kind of just get to know other people. Yeah. It's, like, cool to see how people are with the camera. Like, when they really come out of their shells and shit, they're like, oh, I'm on camera now. What's up, bro? And then, like, you just go back to your regular self or whatever. Like, yeah. I love but anyways, you. thanks for watching us. This is Damage. Look, like, look forward to seeing more of this it's guy. Caspi. But yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. yeah. I just want to see. I just want to see how beautiful you are. You know that I see it. So what's up guys, um, that wraps up the vlog for today, um, that was a recap of pretty much my weekend from Thursday through Saturday. Thursday I went to 143, was pretty bummed out, I didn't get to shoot for them, um, they told me I could shoot and then they told me I couldn't get a pass, so I was kind of bummed out. So my Thursday night was whatever, but it was still fun because I brought my, my homeboy Nick out. I had fun because Nick was there, and then after that, we went out for um, food, and that was fun as fuck. It's always good catching up with him. And then Friday, oh my gosh, Friday was a trip. So, you know, I went to Winter Solstice thinking, you know, I'm just going to listen to a free concert at UCR. Why not? Like, But anyways, I met up with Gabby. Um... Haven't seen Gabby in a minute, but I talked with her and we hung out. When we get into the venue, Gabby and her friend get into the venue right away and they go to the merch table, whereas I have to be held back because they take away my camera because they're like, oh, you can't have her camera inside. So I was super bummed out and just kind of giving them a hard time because it's such a small camera that I had, like, it was like this small. But anyways, um. I met up with them at the merch table for Marky e. Basie. Anyways, I met Josh, who works for Mark, and I was just telling him, you know, I'm kind of bummed out. I just wanted to take pictures today, but they took my camera away. And he was like, oh, they took your camera away. Do you want to shoot for us tonight? And I was just like, wait, are you really throwing me a lob right now? Like, whoa. But anyways, so Josh was like, yo, you can shoot for us tonight. And he's like, just get your camera back. And the, anyway, AS, Josh gave ASPB such a hard time. And from there, um, they were like, yo, you can't shoot in the press pit. It was like literally just like the front of the stage section. And I was just like, why are we not allowed to shoot there? Like, the fuck? But anyways, um, he's like, you can have a backstage pass. So... Um, they gave us a, they gave me a backstage pass, which allowed me to um, go backstage pretty much. You know, if I wanted to, I could go in the Mark's room or I could go on stage, and etc. But I was just like, you know, I my intentions that night was just to listen to music. But then I ended up listening to music and doing the thing I love, which is photography. So I was just like, hey. And so I was just so happy. I was just like, yo, like Mark's team is putting me on. I have to come clutch with like these shots especially because they told me that their photographer didn't show up so i was just like yo i'm here for it so um i got to shoot pictures for mark um you saw the video the little video recap i did for him well uh, re recap that i just did in general because they didn't ask me to do video i'm trash at it but um i also got us watch her live that and like especially on stage like Whereas everyone was in the crowd, I'm literally like five feet away from her while she's singing. I'm just like, yo, yo. We're going to be going on tour in March if you're down. Um, we'll get back to you if you want to go with us on tour. And I was just like, yo, like, I might go on tour? Like, I'm about to go on tour. You're talking, I'm going to be traveling and like, expenses pay like but um yeah they offered um well josh was like yeah we're gonna be going on tour like um i'll keep in contact with you to see if um 
you could go on tour with us. But yeah, there was that opportunity. And so I'm just waiting until Wednesday to hear back from him to see what happens. But yeah, that's what happened. And then Saturday, I met Daniel Caesar. Um, but anyways, I went to Space 1520 in Los Angeles for Urban Outfitters. Um, shout out to the homie. Uh, she helped me get into the venue. She runs the venue for Urban Outfitters. And she allowed me to shoot for them. And next thing you know, I'm up in front of Daniel Caesar front row, just taking pictures of him and having the time of my life shooting one of my top five artists right now. So that was definitely a vibe. Um, it was very fun. I had such a great time listening to him and also taking pictures of him. And then after that, um, there was the meet and greet. Um, I waited to talk to him after all the fans went through. And after all the fans went through, I told him, yo, I've been a big fan for like years now, like ever since Selection, when he released his first album. And, you know, it's been a minute since I've like, well, I've been a fan. So to see him grow into what he's become now is pretty crazy. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get an intro for the vlog. I'm kind of, I, I blanked out because, you know, it's Daniel Caesar. So anyways, um, and then I met Maze that night, but you already saw that. But yeah. And then after that, I headed over to Paper Tiger Bar to meet the homie E-Rock and his wife and DJ Pudge. And we chopped it up, and it was a good night. We got Korean barbecue at 3 a.m., and then we got California donuts, and I got home at 5 a.m. Hmm. Hmm. But, yeah, that was my weekend. That was a long weekend. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, this is my life. Thanks for fucking with me. Oh, yeah. This is the way I live. Little boy still pushing big wheels. I stack my money, lay low, and chill.